Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is another Promo Friday. We are here for the second week of Fantasy Foot with the Team 2 releasing today. And this Team 2 looks absolutely insane. I want to take a look at the full leaked team. Of course, it's the year of FIFA 22, right? It's the year of the leaks. We have a lot of leaks and we have the full team that is expected to be released today. So we're going to take a look at that. But also with that knowledge, take a look at how the market might be impacted today and what people on FIFA will be interested in. And will this team be hype if it is as expensive as Team 1? Because a lot of these cards look insane, like some cards from Team 1, like Alan St. Maximin, you know, Rashford. Those cards are so expensive on the market right now. Are these cards from Team 2 going to maintain that level of hype? Because we have some big time upgrades in here. So I want to take a look at that, the SBC and objective content that we would expect today. And of course, how the rest of the market is going to react to brand new cards coming on the game today. So if you're hyped for fantasy foot team number two, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look at the team without further ado. Let's take a look at the squad because I think this team looks really insane and it's actually been the trend the past two promos now with Foot Birthday Team 2 was better and it looks like with Fantasy Foot Fantasy Team 2 is going to be better as well. Again, Sheriff says he's not sure which of these guys will be in the mini release or if they're going to release all of these cards today, but these are all the leaked items with official stats that we should see as a part of Team 2. Now, a couple things you're going to see in here, right? A couple stat upgrades and position changes from the leaks that we looked at earlier on this week. Dembele is now no longer a right mid. He is a striker position change. That, in my opinion, is if this guy is does not have a price range uh, over like 5 million coins, I think this Usman Dembele is going to be around the same price uh, of the same maximum. And it, uh, why I'm saying that is if he doesn't have a price max of 5 mil to start off with, I think he's going to be extinct. So it might be another extinct St. Maximin type of situation this week with a couple of these cards. The Coutinho that we have today looks unbelievable. That's five-star skills, four-star weak foot, Brazil links in the prem. That's an insane card. And again, these cards upgrade the same as Team 1. It's the same upgrade criteria. Coutinho is playing really good right now IRL. That card people would expect to get upgrades pretty soon. Anthony Martial now at Sevilla. Really interested with this card. His base gold work rates are low, low. His winter wild cards got a high low uh, boost on that card. He also got a weak foot boost. So I'm really curious to see the work rates on this Martial card today. That's going to make a huge impact on his price. But as we look through the rest of this team, Martinelli, right? Awar, Bamba, Alexandro, Pedro looks great. Sissoko is a huge card, right? We haven't had a special Sissoko this year. He's going to be insane in game. Rodrigo, a tall got a stats upgrade. He looks insane. Sirigu, Alvarez, Marino, Vertonghen. And then I don't know how to say this guy's name, but the Leverkusen center back, that's a cracked looking center back from Leverkusen right there. Of course, not going to have the best links, but he'll be pretty cheap and really usable and really good stats uh, for that guy. So again, we don't know which of these exact cards are going to be in packs today. What EA likes to do is release you know, a few of them, and then they release a few more as a mini release, kind of like we saw with the Lucas, with the Balde, and with the Core, they were released on Sunday, those three cards. I think there'd be either three or four from this team as well that would be held back and released on Sunday. But again, as you look at this team, all around, if you compare this to team number one, I think it looks better. What we really need is a couple skill move and weak foot upgrades to make this insane. Martinelli needs to have a four-star, four-star item. If that card is three-star weak foot or skills. His base is 3-3. Three, three. Uh, this card needs to be 4-4 four, four in my opinion. A couple other cards in here need to have a weak foot or a skill move boost as some of these guys have some three-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, especially for some of the attackers in here. We need to see that on a few of these items today. That's what's going to come down to the hype. The cards look good. The upgrades are insane, but what it's really going to come down to is um, are EA going to go out and boost some skill moves in weak foot? They did a little bit with foot fantasy team one, but not a lot, right? Like Rashford got the plus one weak foot boost to the four star weak foot. And Aki Williams are from a two star to a three star weak foot. Hopefully they do some boost today with these cards. So that's an insane looking team. Now those are going to be the cards in packs and we'll come back to this in a second. Now let's talk about other content. Objective wise, I think we are expected to see 
Lo Celso. This was leaked like two weeks ago, um, and he was rumored to be the Team 2 objective. So I think this will be our new objective card today, Lo Celso. Uh, another La Liga. There's been a lot of La Liga and Serie A hype recently with a lot of the objectives um, and a couple of the SBCs that we have seen as a part of these promos. I think there's some nice La Liga cards coming out. Same with Serie A. Uh, speaking of Serie A, I believe we might have a Perisic. That might be our SBC. So La Celso could be our objective and Perisic might be our SBC, but we're really not too sure what our SBC player would be today. Um, would we have any other SBC content, right? That's a common question. Most of the time on Fridays, they really don't want SBCs to be the focus, right? They want on Fridays to sell packs, to sell lightning rounds, to get you to spend FIFA points. That's what EA wants you to focus on. So the objectives and SBCs on Friday aren't often the main focus or insane value content. Now, last Friday, we had a great Tonali SBC that's expiring today on Friday, of course. Um, and I think we will get a player SBC today. Ton um, Perisic, again, as I mentioned, is that most expected player. It could be somebody else, but I wouldn't expect it to be like a game changing or a huge uh, player via SBC today. That would be unlike EA for a normal Friday, unless they have something crazy planned. Uh, but I've also had some other people uh, point out to me that some of your uh, upgrade packs today are expiring, like the year in review player pick expires today on Friday. Same thing with the campaign bag player pick. Most of the time, this stuff expires on Fridays and does not get re-released. This sort of SBC content is more of like a Sunday to Thursday type of time frame for a release for these types of cards. So I wouldn't expect to see this re-release today. Again, I'm not saying that it couldn't happen. It very well could happen once again. They could re-up those, but I don't expect that to be the case today. So that's kind of all the content that I would expect. Of course, EA is going to go all, all out again with the lightning rounds. They ran lightning rounds Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this past week. They're not running any right now in the late night, Thursday night, which seems to be kind of their stopping point for lightning rounds. Uh, Thursday nights, they don't run the late ones. But as we take a look at the pack weight, right? 100K packs that are in the store right now with the fantasy foot players that we have in packs, 8.7% chance of packing these cards. I don't think that the pack weight today is going to be that much different, right? It may look a little bit lower since we could potentially have a few less cards in packs um, for the Fantasy Foot Team 2 without the mini release being released today. So you might have those percentages be a little bit lower. Um, so, you know, what, what it comes down to today is what's going to make a hype day for Fantasy Foot Team 2. Of course, we just looked at the items. We looked at the team, right? What it's going to come down to is the price ranges for these cards. Are they available on the market? Are they extinct? Um, and are there weak foot and skill move upgrades? If these cards come out today and they're, for some reason they're a lot cheaper um, than Team 1 is, then you're probably going to see a lot of the market react to that. Since there's a lot more popular, um, you know, Car There's a lot more cards in this team, in my opinion, that you can just plug and play in your squad, right? How many French cards do we have in here? Usman, Martial, Awar, Bamba, Sissoko. There are five French items in this promo side. Um, I guess we also do have three Brazilians as well with Coutinho, Martinelli, and Sandro. But so many French cards as a part of this promo team. That just means that a lot of people that run those those squads, links to Mbappe, you know, player of the month that has been out recently. Of course, you have the... You know, left back Alexandro, some people might want to plug into their teams with flashback Neymar if they're still running that. Paqueta, you know, a lot of Brazilian and French links lately have been very OP. EA is catering to that with this promo team today with a lot of Brazilian and French cards in this team, of course. Uh, but I think it really comes down to the weak foot skill move upgrades and the price. Again, I don't think that these guys are going to be super cheap because of how we saw Team 1 with Foot Fantasy be pretty expensive on the market for kind of what we were expecting. And of course, with the potential for some of these guys to get plus one, plus two, plus three a week from today, April 1st, when the upgrades begin to, uh, or the games take effect that would could upgrade the cards, uh, you know, I think these guys are going to be pretty expensive unless EA do something crazy, right? We always have to say that because EA could do something crazy like drop preview packs or drop some sort of insane SBC or something like that that would make all this stuff drop on the market. I wouldn't expect that as of right now. They haven't done preview packs in like three months. It's been like December since we've seen those. Um, so, I mean, maybe we're due some preview packs before team of the season, but I don't know if they want to do that right now. We'll have to see if that's up their alley today. But um, speaking of the market, right? Again, 
if today, just like last week with foot birthday cards, you guys remember like a lot of the foot birthdays rose up really fast last week because the brand new cards that came out with uh, team one of fantasy foot were very expensive. Yes, they were nice, but they were very, very expensive. And people were like, okay, these foot birthdays with the five-star skills or five-star weak foot, foot upgrades um, have more hype. If the cards that come out today for fantasy team two are like we're mentioning, very overpriced, um, you know, I think that some of these cards could actually continue going up in price. A lot of these team one items, since they are going out of packs today, people have been investing in, right? This Klosterman was 400 and, uh, 410,000 coins yesterday after division rivals rewards. He went down to 375. He's back up to about 385 at the moment where he is now. You had some of the lower tier cards like Rusillian, like Van de Beek. Uh, Van de Beek was probably the perfect example of this yesterday. People yesterday started investing in these cards for an out of packs rise. And again, because the potential upgrades for these cards happening pretty soon, and they're, they're technically live items, people started investing in them, right? Van de Beek was like 120 K for the past couple days. He is now up 10,000 coins in value. And a lot of your lower tier cards are the ones that went up. So there's right now on the market, you have a lot of people that have invested in these cards. I think if you have not bought, but if you see the content today and you say, okay, there's really not that good of an SBC. There's really not, uh, the team is out, but it's expensive. You know, I still think there's going to be cards from this team that will continue to rise over this next week, unless EA do something crazy. So just like we saw last week with the foot birthday team twos rising right away out of packs, you might see some of these cards bounce up just because they're super rare on the market. Again, as we go and take a look at these cards, there's just not a lot of supply. So keep an eye on some of these if they drop heading into the content today. And also for the rest of the out of packs market, maybe some foot birthday cards, right? Those are still very popular. Like we've talked about many promo Fridays in the past, if the content today is underwhelming, you're gonna see the rest of the market rebound back up, specifically those cards that are not in packs. So especially your items that are a lot more rare, like these road to the finals, if you see panic selling on them today, um, and as long as there's not a brand new card coming out that would be a substitute good or a replacement for one of those special cards that you're looking at, uh, then then you got a thumbs up for me on, on potentially buying that card and seeing it rise back up after some panic selling. So that's one thing that I would watch out for today is panic selling on the rest of the market. Ooh, Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe is 428K. This guy was actually 460 just a couple hours ago and people were starting to buy this up because of the links to Martinelli. So me seeing that right now, knowing that he was uh, all the way up at 460K, 470K, I believe at 1.2, uh, that makes me kind of interested in this card at the moment, unless he somehow is getting listed up a lot. I know that we have a Coutinho coming today. So maybe if I can snag a couple undercuts on this guy, people will be like, oh my goodness, Martinelli is coming and they'll want to link him together. Um, and they'll want to link him up with the Smith Rowe card. So let me check the supply. How many cards do we have back to 470? We have one page, two page. Okay, that's that's pretty good. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on a card like this Smith Row, who went high yesterday, links to a new player coming out today. Arsenal fans might want to get some nice uh, hype links to their brand new Martinelli card uh, that might be dropping today. So that's the kind of stuff you could look for on the market today. Now, stuff that is in packs, um, fodder and icon moments. Icon moments are 100% going to drop today on the market. I would keep an eye out on these prices. A lot of them have been dropping over this past week, but I would expect to see these cards um, dropping down a little bit lower today because they're going to get supplied, of course, through packs. You're going to see some panic selling on these items heading into the content drop as well. I bought a Roberto Carlos tonight. Okay, boom. I need to list mine up because I bought him at 1.5 flat and he is up in value at the moment because he has gotten kind of rare, but I'm absolutely going to sell this uh, Roberto Carlos, which I had listed at 161. Yeah, I'm going to probably relist it here again because that's going to be the cheapest one on the market and I want to kind of get it out. But I'm going to relist that card and take the money because I think that Roberto Carlos is most likely going to be cheaper than that as we get closer to the content drop today on Friday. And I'm going to keep an eye on some of these foot fantasy cards. I know Lucas seems overpriced to me still, uh, but he's from the mini release. He's definitely more rare. Um, and Sancho, who was around his price, Sancho is ballooned. Um, he is actually up to like 900,000 coins. So me seeing this price go up makes me like the price of that Lucas just a little bit more. Sancho right now is, yeah, 889, 890. So 90 to 100,000 coins more expensive than that Lucas. Um, with Lucas being a live card, 
I know he's not five star, five star, but you know, that's the kind of stuff you could be watching out for and looking out for today on the market. One thing I will say as well is last week on Friday, with the release of the Tonali, since it was such a good card, people knew that his road to the knockout card from earlier in the year was really good, and this SBC was good value. A lot of Serie A links rose up. And again, as we look at the league team today, you've got some Serie A links in here. I feel like EA is kind of pushing Serie A. I know I mentioned that earlier, but we've got an Alexandro, much needed left back in the Serie A, getting dropped today. Pedro, very meta right wing, a goalkeeper, Sirigu in the Serie A. So, you know, with the Tonali that's dropped recently, uh, we had the Mkhitaryan during foot birthday. We've had a, a couple decent Serie A cards in the last couple weeks. There's a little bit of hype for those cards right now. So what I would watch out for is maybe some of your other Serie A midfielders or center backs specifically. Some of those cards might be rising today later on after the content drop, especially if we get a Perisic and that uh, card is good value. So Serie A links just seem to, to rise a little bit extra because I think that most people don't run Serie A squads and there's not too many, you know, like really hype items like this headliner Koulibaly is really, really rare on the market and fluctuates a ton in price because so many people need Serie A center backs and there's just not a ton of them, right? You know, you have that screen ER, uh, you have Cordoba, Di Natale, Cordoba. I know they're in packs, but I think Cordoba last week like exploded in price. What is he right now? Wow. He's, he's down. He's 236. So, you know, a card like this with some hype today for Serie A could go up after the lightning rounds are over and after some of that, that pack supply does come on the game. So that would be stuff that I would watch out for today. Now, again, let's talk about SBC fodder because yesterday, crazily enough, fodder got destroyed. So EA ran lightning rounds yesterday on Thursday, but they also released marquee matchups that I think a lot of people went out and did. And fodder got absolutely dumped into the bin. I mean, there's no other way to say it. I bought some Ramoses at like 28K um, on Wednesday night, hoping he would go up after rewards. He went up like 2K. So I didn't sell, I'm just gonna hold. I think this weekend, is going to be an absolutely banger time to pick up on some fodder. And fodder is going to go lower today, in my opinion, because of these two things. Number one, we're going to have more supply. And you're like, duh, Nate, obviously, week uh, weekends mean the lightning rounds. Fodder is always low on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Well, you can see the drop-off, right? Delict went from basically almost 10K. And on Wednesday, I think even on Tuesday, he was like 11K. Yeah, 11,000 coins, 12K almost Wednesday. To yesterday dropping down to 8,000 coins. He's 8,600 right now. We do not have an icon upgrade SBC that is out right now at the moment. We have player SBCs, but we don't have an icon upgrade. And people love doing icon upgrades. I mean, I don't think we truly understand how many people did the mid or prime icon player pick over the last couple of weeks that that was out. This fodder today, in my opinion, with the supply does drop lower unless we get an insane SBC as a surprise. I think this fodder is going to drop lower. I mean, look at the player of the month Mbappe price. This player of the month Mbappe SBC dropped like 300K in value just yesterday. Look at this. He was 2.1 mil. Actually, that's false. He was 2.4 mil, 2.3 mil on Wednesday, dropped down to 2.1. He was 2.1, 2.2, and then went down all the way under 2 mil. That's how low fodder was. I think this is SBC is going to drop down below. That's a good kind of basis to see where your fodder prices are at. But I think all these players are going to get supplied more today. And without an icon pack being out, it's going to go a little bit lower. But that again, saying a great investment this weekend, in my opinion, is going to be the fodder. Maybe not necessarily the informs for fodder, because those have gone up a lot with the 84 plus player pick that they released yesterday. Um, that was a great time to sell your inform fodder. I think that buying higher rated fodder is going to be a big buy this weekend, whether it's today on Friday or tomorrow on Saturday. I think that as a part of this week two of fantasy foot, oh, I just got to say, was it Carlos? Bang, Rito Carlos, one six, easy as you like. But I think that what we're going to see this weekend is on Sunday um, or maybe even into next week, we're going to have this, the beginning of the Icon Moments Player SBCs. These cards go away in two days. We have leaks of a um, Socrates, Del Piero, Schmeichel, and Ashley Cole. All of those Icon Moments players have been leaked to be added to the code. There's no schedule yet for when they'll be released, but I think that we might see Prime Icon Moments SBCs in the next week. And also, 
we don't have any icon upgrade packs that are live right now. I think they would release an icon upgrade pack, whether it's a prime player pick, whether they release the prime icon upgrade again. I still think it might be a bit early for like a prime icon moments upgrade pack. I think that all those SBCs or basically an icon upgrade and icon player SBCs are possible next week, along with more player picks, more upgrade packs like this, like a gamble SBC. Uh, they'll probably release some sort of the campaign player pick once again. I would imagine that would come back this next week. So I think fodder is a huge buy this weekend, especially if you're wanting to craft. Hopefully, hopefully this next week they release better upgrade pack SBCs. We really, really need an 80 plus player pick to come back. We really need something like that uh, to, to be back out so that people can craft guys like Mbappe, like myself. I'm really trying to craft that Mbappe, get that done and other SBCs that come out this week. Um, I, I just think circling it all back, fodder is going to get low this weekend. It's going to be a great time to buy some clubs, to buy some cards to put in your club uh, or invest in a little bit and see a rise later on this next week uh, just because that's kind of the trend that fodder has been doing. And I just see SBCs upcoming in the future, uh, rising those cards, but I do think it could go down a little bit more this weekend and that'll be a great opportunity to buy. Now, again, in the crazy situation that there's a lot of panic selling today because of some leaked content that would come out. I think what you would see is you'd see a lot of panic selling on these fantasy foot cards. Now this could be a great opportunity. If there is a lot of panic selling, um, if there's a lot of hype for some content that's going to come out, these cards are going out of packs. They're still live. They're going to get upgrades, but a lot of people have invested. So that's why I'm saying watch out for panic today on a few of these cards. Um, again, the ones that drop the most percentage point wise, if there is some panic, those are the ones that I would get in on, get in on and watch. Um, if there is some crazy panic today, not saying that there will be, but these cards do go out of packs. They are live. They're going to get upgrades. I know tots is soon, but you know, if there's panic selling, that means there's going to be investors selling as well. And yesterday, a lot of people invested in these fantasy foot team one cards as they're going out of packs, even myself included. You saw my transfer list, right? I did buy a few of these cards just because I think that they have the potential in the next week to rise up a little bit, right? Klosterman, I was getting in the low 370s. He's already been up to 390. I picked up a couple stones at like 3, 385, 390, a couple nannies, uh, right around 500,000 coins, nothing super crazy. Um, but you know, picking up a few cards cause I think there's potential if this second week of foot fantasy is anything like the first one, those cards could rise a little bit, but we are getting a really insane set of cards today. So we'll see if that impacts the market a little bit, or if all these cards are just going to come out on the market and be super expensive. So hopefully EA does the right skill move week foot upgrades today and team two of fantasy foot is a banger. So let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to today, which of those team two cards you are maybe looking to try and out. And uh, yeah, I'm just most curious to see how overpriced some of these cards are today and what SBC we get, uh, what EA brings us content wise in that department today too. So if you enjoyed the video today, make sure to thumbs up on, on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new, but it's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.